people. All our names don't just talk about who we carry for people. But you know what for free for? We're all like poly people. Now let's kind of story my people will listen to. So they're not going to read a school. Not bring a sexy belly. Now people fall out in the street. Bring a sexy belly. Tell my people in the ring. Bring a sexy belly. This is just not been a sexy Bring a sexy belly. We want a sexy belly. So they're going to be a sexy We want a sexy belly for people in love at all. We want a sexy belly. See, you want to get me people. That's why it's hard to talk. I'm fucking hard to talk. My Ali, my Ali, my Ali, my Ali. So we have, so we have. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Bamboo Bridge Corporation, the Pepper Bird Magazine, and Tony Commander J. R. Kapukwai Chesson Talk Show, I take this opportunity to wish you a Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas 2021. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Men and women, welcome to a Tony Commander J.R. Kabukwa Chesson talk show. Today is Christmas Day. Let me take a sip of my coffee and we start my show. Ouch! Get it on! Get it on! My topics for this morning are President George Weah's Christmas is on Liberians. Number two, Debe Eta Brown Lasana Christmas Eve as rest. What's next? And three, what will 2022 bring? Let's start my lesson. President George we ask, Christmas is on Liberians. Do you believe that? Now, if there was some ordinary situation, we would say yes. We would take a light. We would say, yeah, our president is joking with us. Yeah, your Christmas on your, our Christmas on you too. But with the situation in our country today, did our... People get paid yesterday for Christmas. Are they going to get paid next week for Christmas? For New Year? What is the situation in our country today? We see that in our budget, Ellen Johnson Sally is still getting money. She got money last this year for her group, her women group. She also got money for some of the children organizations she's doing. 
No, we're finding out all about this. And then Johnson said, he said, no, I didn't receive no money. I didn't receive no money. But budget for last, th this year says she received money. The budget for next year got in there for money, even more money. Got out there for one million, two hundred thousand. One million for a women group, two hundred thousand for some of the other groups she got. Our government is supporting Ellen Johnson Sarif. Our government is giving this woman money. She said she didn't receive any money last year, this year. So it's in the budget. It comes on the gender ministry. Why you didn't receive it? Where is the money? Now she's in the budget this year again. Why would we keep giving Ellen Johnson Sally's money? Her children have stolen everything our country got. And we keep giving the woman money. And George, we are paying Ellen Johnson Sally for something. It got to be payment for something. Why is this woman in our budget? Of all the Liberian people who got doing projects, why is Ellen Johnson Sirleaf still in our budget? Why she can't carry on her project by herself? Why are all these people, our money just getting missing here and there? One million here, two million there, 500,000 here. What's wrong, man? Our country not go, our money not going to no good use. Our resources not going to any good use. It's just going to these people. Their private foundation, their 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 their, their engagement, their their operations, their foundations. I, I mean, everything just going to these people. How can we exist like this? It's not right for us. It's not just. It's not equal. It's not fair. One group of people just taking all our money. The same names, the same people, the same families. Why? You all kill our people for this thing. You all kill my people for this thing. And you are still committing these crimes against the Liberian people. My Liberian people, what's wrong, man? What's wrong? Something's got to be wrong. We got to be able to stand up for what is right and just and fair and equal. We got to be able to stand up for something that's right, man. You know, people, the woman in our budget, she said she, she never received no money. Then her name coming out in the budget again this year. So if you didn't receive enough money last year, where did the money go? Who's stealing our country money like this? Like that, that money. Who's stealing our country money like this? Like it's their money. This is not right. This is not just. This is not fair. This is not equal. This is not the law. Come on, man, my people. It's, come on, we gotta do something better than this, man. You know, people stealing from us, inflating the budget. There are things in the budget, they can't account for it. What's wrong? How long will we go through this kind of thing? How long will we go through this stealing and corruption and nepotism and disgrace as our country and people Continue to suffer. We killed 13 people for this thing in 1980. We rejoiced and danced and put our leaders on the pole and killed them to change everything. And everything has not changed. Everything has gotten worse. It has gotten worse. Like we have no law and order in our country. What is wrong, man? What is wrong? You're telling me this Christmas morning. What is wrong? 
Jesus Christ born today. This is a birthday. You are telling me, what is wrong with our society? What is wrong with our country? What is wrong with our system of governance? What is wrong with our leaders? What is wrong, Liberia? This is Christmas morning. What is wrong? What is wrong? How can we go through this century after century? How can we condone this kind of thing? We need change in our society, man. Look at our country. Our country is falling down, man. All the development, no roads. It can't help us. It can't help us. It can't help us. Look at the get from 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 Peaceway, from from Congo Town, from from, from Fiamma to downtown Monrovia. It's three hours. This is not right. It's not right. You take a whole day just to leave one side of town, the city, to get to the downtown, like Monrovia. You take three hours. The whole day is gone. That's why our system, our country can't grow. Everything is stagnant because of the stealing, because of the corruption, because of the evil against the Liberian people. Something got to give, man. Something got to give. You got to help us. We got to help ourselves. People can't just be stealing our money like that. Our hard-earned wealth. This the money they're stealing from all of us, whether we're in Liberia or in America, is for all of us who own property and wealth in Liberia. It's for all of us. And one group of people just keep stealing it. Stealing it, then they're telling us, come home. Come home to what? To what? It hurts. It hurts. When we in the United States of America know better. When we know about holding our leaders accountable. Despite the fact that in Liberian communities here, we still have backwards community here. But the mainstream overall people in the society, we hold people accountable. We want answers for things that you govern on our behalf. You got to be responsible to us. You can't do just what you want to do. You are held to laws and rules and regulations and, 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 and standards. But when we throw all these things off, what have we got to stand on? What have we got to turn to? How can we punish these people, man? How can we punish these people? Now, yeah, our budget sitting now waiting to go before the Senate and we're telling them, no, this budget is not right. This thing your people tampering with is not right. Y'all need to send this budget back. Let them do a good budget. Let them get all these inflated amounts out of the budget. Let them give us a realistic budget to deal with. Get Ellen Johnson selling all the people out of our budget. Man, Ellen Johnson selling got money. Why are you putting a woman, why are you giving her a million dollars for a game? Well, she already has money. Let her do a woman project. How about the other people in that bureau who got projects? You mean we'll neglect all of them just for Ellen Johnson's Ellie alone? Come on, man. That's stealing. That is damn right stealing. All right. Y'all got to stop it, man. Y'all got to stop it. We can't afford this thing. We can't afford the stealing and recklessness and irresponsibility and unaccountability. 
that go on in our country today. We can't afford it. This is not what Liberia needs today. This is not what we kill our leaders and fought 14 years of civil war, killing each other for. This is not right. This is not just. This is not fair. This is not equal. This is not what our people die for. We kill our people. You mean we kill those people in vain? You mean we dance and rejoice in vain? And yet the same stealing worse than ever before perpetrated right in our bar open faces. Things got to change. This Christmas, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, it behooves us to reflect seriously on our lives, on the lives of our people, on the life, on the life of our nation. We need to reflect and see how, how some way we can bring back ourselves that we lost long ago. Bring back our thinking. Bring back our desire, desires for freedom from oppressors. So, let me take a break, take my coffee, and I'll come back with my second topic this Christmas morning. So we hear that yesterday afternoon, David Brown Lasana, the boss of the National Election Commission, was arrested. She turned herself in and she was charged and she posted a bond. And the parents bond in the amount of $367,000. She was charged with money laundering and violation of the code of conduct for officials. They say that the Office for Procurement, that all government officials and, and, and all agencies supposed to go through, all ministries supposed to go through when purchasing things for the government, She didn't go through that. They didn't take that path. She sent everything else to the procurement office except things that had to do with the nearly $200,000 the thermometer rental agreement. She didn't do that. She did that on her own with her brother. So the thing blew wide open. And now here she is being charged, being made a scapegoat for somebody. But this is what you do. This is what happens when you try to do the wrong thing. You can't say, oh, other people are doing this, so why are you catching me? No, it, it doesn't work like that. You got caught, you got caught. As long as you're guilty, we can't say nothing. We're trying to change our country. For years, we've been going through the same thing. Whether it's a witch hunt, whether it's trying to get rid of you, whether it's blah, 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 we don't know what it is. For so long as you are involved in the act and got caught, 
and got punished. You can't say, oh, what about the other people? There are other people time coming. But they set you up and you fell in the trap and got caught. They're stealing all around. You wouldn't put your hand and you got caught. So, what's next? We know that David Edda Brown, Lasana wasn't alone in all of this. There were other people who colluded or conspired with her to do this. What about them? So, as the news spread, we see the massive stealing that go on in our government and against the people of Liberia. We see it from the very legislature to the very bottom of the total pool, people stealing. How we can survive? <clears throat> yeah, we, <clears throat> yeah, we are crying for salary, crying for this and that, saying we need to invest more than in, in more than just salaries. We need to invest in our country. We need to build our country. But how can we do it when everybody in the country is stealing? It's not only the government official. It's a trickling down effect that everybody in the country is stealing. And everybody expects to get something free because other people are doing it. We can't go on like this. Liberia will not survive like this. When we talk about surviving, we're talking about giving our citizens the necessities of life that they deserve because they pay taxes, because they support government, because they are law abiding. These are the things our government provides for our citizens because of their loyalty to the system. But when the government fails to provide these things, when people in our government are neglectful of the plight of the masses of our people, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect and a failure. In leadership. So, we end up time again in the same place, in the same situation, with the same problems and issues, time and time and time and time again. <sighs> we get rid of one corrupt group of people, the another corrupt group of people fill in the void. We go down to the prison, you will not find no official government in jail there for stealing. All the poor people there for stealing, petty things, stealing. But the real criminals not there. They're selling drugs. Our representatives are selling drugs. They're selling alcohol. They, 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 they run the schools and colleges. They do everything except their jobs. What they're doing on their jobs is they're stealing from us to do the things they want to do and leaving us stranded, neglectful, neglected. And dying. So, what's next? Now we got one person. What's next? Is this going to be an ongoing matter? Because we know we're losing money to these thieves and, and criminals every day. They're in our legislature, they're in our judiciary, and of course, they're in our executive. What hope is there for the Liberian people? 
Winga no ho, we depend on the judiciary. We see the judiciary is totally broken down. They can't even punish their own judges. The judges stealing people money, millions of dollars, and they can't punish her. What happened to the people money? They can't get the man his money back. So our judges will use the position and the law to disparage the lives of other Liberian people with impunity. When our judiciary is just as corrupt as every other institution in our country, there is no hope for our country. There is no hope for our people. So what have we got to show for our people this Christmas when our president say his Christmas is on us? What hope is there for our people when every institution of government got rogues and the president telling us his Christmas is on us? What hope is there for us this Christmas? For me, it's the same plight. Our destiny has not changed. From 1980, we kill our people in vain. We have come all this far, committing the same acts that we kill our people for. To this very day, look at the massive stealing in our country, the massive lawlessness, killing people on the counter for. Hmm? People accused of murder and still working. Look at St. Moses still burying people with all the accusations about our accountants, about all the people that the children got missing, all of that. This man is still up and ready. He's in the home, still making money. The government can't account to us for what happened to our auditors. They can't account to us for what happened to those three children. They can't account to us for nothing. And the same people who are alleged to have committed these acts are the very same people running the government today still. So what does that tell us? That tells us we have no justice. We have no equality. We have no fairness. We have no honesty. We have no sincerity. We have no good leadership. No governance in our country. Merry Christmas. Let me take a break. I'll come back to my final topic. I don't know what kind of good leadership we have in our country when for nearly two centuries our country is still closed. Our country is closed when people are walking two hours carrying pregnant women to hospital when we cannot get from Monrovia to Maryland County by road when we can't access other parts of our nation since 1847 to this very day, we got a serious problem. We are so backwards because every time I travel to the Caribbean, that the first thing I do when I travel to any black nation, I won't see how expanded the nation is, how open it is. I get in car and I just drive through the whole city. You know those those Caribbean islands. It take you about two hours to drive to the whole island. So I do it to each one of them to see the kind of advancement they got with their roads. Are all the roads paved? Are they conducive? Can you read? And those small little islands, they open. You can go to every part that got some kind of pavement. 
not guts or dirt, pavement. It may not be the best, but they got it. Then we'll come and see a whole West African Republic of Liberia from 1847 to today. I hear my people say they carry pregnant women in hammock. They got to walk two days. They got to walk five hours. It hurts my heart. Then I start cussing. Then they say chest and cussing. He hit people. He, no, I don't hit people. I don't hate people. But when I hear these kind of backward things going on, that's not supposed to be going on in my country today. When I hear my people doing things that not supposed to be happening today, we're supposed to be past long ago. It hurts me. It hurts me because I know people stealing. I know people don't care about our people. If you care about our people, why would you listen to them taking a pregnant woman six hours walking to the nearest hospital? Even if we, got, we won't have the hospital, at least we can have the means for us to drive as far as she got to go in a less distance, in a less time period to get the treatment she needs. Even if she got to drive from Banga to Basso, where the hospital is, let there be roads. Let her be able to get there. Or try her best. But when a woman got to walk six hours from the bush to the main road, then you can't find no cars because the road's not conducive. How do people, how many people will survive, man? We can't survive, my people. We can't continue on like this. This is not civilization. This is not what we kill our 13 people for. This is not what we kill Tava for. This is not what we went to 14 years of a useless, damn useless civil war for. This is not it. We deserve better. And we should hold our people accountable. We can't let things slide. We can't say no. Too many people have died in our country for us to sit down and say we're scared. We'll let these people do what they want to do. Too many people gave their lives for change in Liberia, just for the sake of change, just to have an opportunity to live. People gave their lives. People gave their lives. Innocent people. I was listening to the boy the other day talking about how they were sitting in the village eating. Then when they looked, the people ransacked the village, they ran ahead. When they came back, the people that were eating with all of them were dead. He said, how I was sitting here eating with the people a few minutes ago. Now I gotta come back to bury them. How can you, that's, that's mental illness. It would make you sick. It would screw your head up. Me and you sitting here talking one minute, I come the next minute, you're dead for no apparent reason. Nothing that you did because other people come and see, think you did something. It causes mental illness. And for us to change our state of mental illness, we need good leadership. We need good leadership that will take us out of this mess. Not because we force our leaders, no but because our leaders love us. Because they love us and they see we can't continue like this. They love us and they see we can't live like this. We can live better. But the stealing got to stop. The stealing got to stop. People can't come into our government to get rich. That's not what government for. We come to serve, to build, to increase, to grow, to benefit others, but not to steal and benefit ourselves. That's not the purpose of government. So, as we go through this weekend and we see the sufferings of our people, we see that 
things have not changed in our country. We see that our leadership is immature. We got an old woman here who is a rogue with her children. We got a young president who is an idiot. He go around singing songs like a little dummy. And we got government officials who just stealing. Who just stealing and taking advantage of this dummy president and this old criminal woman. So our country is in a mess. And we gotta bring it back. We are held with the responsibility to bring our country back. So as we end this year, as we end with this Christmas morning, what will 2022 bring for us? What changes will we stand up for? And said, no, 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 it will not happen no, no more. No, our people have died too much. Our country have lost too much. Our families and mothers have cried too much. We want real positive changes in our society. We want to see things grow. We want Ellen taking money for a woman group that we can't see nothing happen to the women in Liberia. We won't want to see Ellen taking money for children and her damn children are the damn criminals in our society. The stealing got to stop. Ellen Johnson selling them town over. It's obsolete. They got to go. They did their part. Whether good or bad, we give her accolades already for the good part. Now we're going to punish you and our children for the bad part that got us where we still are today with this other criminal and these other useless people calling themselves government officials. But it's up to us to change our country. It's up to us to end this year on the note that what has been happening in our country with cease and desist. All the stealing of our resources. We cannot survive as a nation when every Tom, Dick, and Harry feel that they can steal for us with impunity. We will not grow as a people where our own people feel that they have a right to steal because other people have stolen or will steal or will try to steal or, or something. We can't do that. The time for us to set our country right is now. Are we going to go through 2022 as we have been for the past 170 plus years? Are we going to add 2022 to the years of dysfunctional leadership and stealing and corruption and nepotism and evil that have persisted in our country for these many years. We as a Liberian people got to sit down now and we're going to put our whole thing into reflection and we're going to make a decision. We're going to decide we got to make a profound and sound decision of whether or not we want to change our country. Whether or not we want our country to be like the other great nations of the world, or we just want to talk, 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 and see everything stay as it is. The more we talk, the more things remain the same or worse. So what will 2022 bring us? That's next week. That's a few days from now. The time of the Liberian people is now. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I hope you hang out with your family today. I know it's cold out there, but whatever you gotta do, make it a family day. 
Okay? If you're home by yourself, you want to call people, get in touch with people, even if it's for one or two minutes, say hi. To you people who are lunars like me, do what you gotta do, okay? Merry Christmas! And think about Liberia and what's gonna happen next week, 2022. Are we gonna stay the same? Or are we gonna change our country? For the better. Aluta! Continue. Have a good day.